Welcome to the 2023 PBPA Top Hand Award. The mission of the PBPA is to advocate for the safe and responsible development of our oil and natural gas resources. We are very proud of our record of doing so since 1961. We're proud to honor an individual tonight who has been supporting the PBPA for almost that long. The Top Hand Award is an award that the Permian Basin Petroleum Association gives to an individual that is very outstanding in, in their field of work and gives back to the oil and gas industry and their community. Dick Sivils is most deserving of the Top Hand Award. His decades of service for the industry, for the PBPA, and for the communities signify all that is best about the West Texas spirit of oil and gas. Thank you for being here with us this evening to help us honor Dick Sivils and his family for all of his contributions to the oil and gas industry and to the Permian Basin at large. Please enjoy the evening. Thank you. It has been said that if there be any truer measure of a man than by what he does, it must be by what he gives. If there were any truer measure of a top hand than by what he has done for the oil and gas industry, it must be by what he has given to the Permian Basin. In his now more than six decades as a pioneer in the oil and gas industry and pillar of the Permian Basin, whether through his leadership at Civils Inc., his evolution in operations and equipment, or the time, talent, and support, he has contributed to a number of worthy organizations. Whatever the measurement, it is clear that Dick Civils receives exemplary marks across the board. Well, Dick Civils is honestly one of my favorite people, and I just love that he, he shows up, he does his homework, he asks good questions. You know, Dick is such an accomplished, smart, savvy businessman, obviously, to have grown his company to be what it is. But what I admire most about Dick Civils is the way that he prioritizes the community. I mean, he really is everywhere. He cares about the university, he cares about the arts, he cares about the community. I mean, I think about all of the areas that Dick Civils invest his time and his resources and his attention and his advice. Uh, it's, uh, you know, very wide ranging, uh, you know, group of uh, activities that he pays attention to. He's a wonderful man. I think it's just his passion to, you know, help people and keep that company going and help the community. It's a passion that he has. It's not a case that he has to. Charles Richard Dick Civils was born on November 13, 1934 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. His pipe in the oil and gas business runs deep. Its drill stem tracing back more than 120 years to a venture by his grandfather at the turn of the 20th century in Ohio. While his grandfather sold the original business after a move to Oklahoma, Dick's father reignited the family legacy in 1947, establishing Civils Inc. in Odessa, Texas, and planting a flag for the family in the Permian Basin. Little did Dick know at that time his father's legacy would become his life's work, a journey that would shape the oil and gas landscape in the Permian Basin and beyond for generations. You know, I, I think there's no doubt that he has a, you know, great family history and everything. And he also told me that he was a military guy. He went into the military and found his way to, to West Texas. But I just think that, you know, he just has tremendous uh, family caring, family brought him up, hard work, organized, care about the community. Permian Basin has definitely benefited from it. After his dad passed and Dick inherited, he's built this business. They've been in business close to 100 years. Dick started when it was tough, when he even had wooden tanks instead of metal tanks like you have today. He started out in the business building wooden tanks. So let me say that he's a strong trooper. In less than a decade after his father started Civils Inc., a prophetic friend scrolled a note in Dick's high school yearbook, giving us all a glimpse into Dick's future. If I ever need a tank, I'll remember you down in West Texas, Robert Bob Foster. Although his journey in the oil and gas business may have begun before he had even realized it, a stop at the University of Oklahoma, where he earned a BS degree in mechanical engineering with distinction, likely sealed the deal. His time at the university was marked by numerous honorary positions and memberships. 
a testament to his dedication and prowess. And you know what's amazing? He said, I have every engineering drawing that I've ever did at Civils. He is one completely organized individual. He has complete control of his life. He knows what he's gonna do. And if he tell you he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. In 1959, Dick fully embarked on his professional career in the oil and gas industry. Taking the reins of Civils Inc. in 1974 marked a significant turning point. Under his visionary leadership, the company evolved into a global powerhouse in designing, manufacturing, and selling oil and gas production equipment. Tanks, treaters, separators, gas production units, heaters, water knockouts, everything between the wellhead and the pipeline bore the mark of Civil's commitment to excellence. And all the rules and the regulations and the history and the, and the operating procedures and everything were in place. And they're, they're Dick's procedures. He wrote a lot of equipment, treater manuals, uh, separator manuals, dehydrator manuals uh, that were passed out to a zillion young engineers. And there's probably a lot of them still in use today. They volunteered to come up and teach a seminar class uh, on equipment and uh, process equipment and battery design. Dick Civils was the one that came and personally taught the course. And that tells you a lot about Dick. He could have easily sent someone else to Texas Tech to teach that course, and he came personally. I, I still have my some of the handouts that Dick gave us way back then and still use them. Uh, Dick is a person that always has given back, not only to the oil and gas industry, but to the oil and gas industry community as a whole, to Odessa, to Midland, and he's known worldwide as Civils Inc. Uh, has produced equipment that's used around the globe today. That, that's Dick, if he ever needs a tank or heater treater or processor. Well, you can find Dick in West Texas, that's right. He's just so methodical, right, as you would expect someone who's grown such an amazing business to be. He's very methodical. You know, uh, my impression of him is a very high level of intelligence, not just in the way that he runs his business or, frankly, the way that he contributes to every board he's on, uh, but his sense of humanity and kindness and making every place that he's in better and, and the people that he works with better. So they took about 20 or 25 of my people, and myself included, uh, and hired us all, and away we went. I was real happy to find uh, a spot for the people that worked for me that were, would have been damaged had the company just shut the doors. I mean, I feel so blessed to have been associated with him my six years in so many different ways and so many different aspects. I love to see him in a meeting. I love to see him coming. Uh, he's uh, happy and kind and uh, obviously very smart. From the beginning and even today, Civil's influence extends beyond the boardroom. A civic leader and philanthropist, Dick is a beacon of support for the Permian Basin community. His involvement with organizations like the United Way, the University of Texas Permian Basin, and the Midland Odessa Symphony showcase a dedication to improving the quality of life in the region. It is a testament to the fact that he is not just uh serving a perfunctory spot on a board, he absolutely wants to understand all of the pieces. So if you would like for Dick Civils to serve on the board, know that he's gonna show up and he's gonna ask good questions and he's going to do his homework and he's going to contribute amazing uh, uh, value-driven ideas for whatever organization that he you know, spends his time and energy on. Dick was my first chairman and he had that PE by his name, professional engineer. And I, I was just shocked. I said that we would have someone that's the president of Silver's over there and that he's be willing to sit on the Permian Basin Workforce Board. Because, you know, we're a regional board for 17 counties. And some of the policies that the board passed, you know, they impact a lot of folks in training, uh, child care area, you know, because we operate probably about a $30 million budget. And, you know, Silver's is just one committed board members that attended every meeting. Dick's 89 years old and he still goes to work every day for five days a week, 
just like he was 40 years old. And as far as the community goes, Dick has served on every board in this community. I think he's been everything but the mayor in Odessa. UTPB, Wagner Noel, he was on the city council for a while. I mean, you name it, Dick's been on the board. Been on the workforce board as long as I can remember. And even today, Dick's on five or six boards that he still goes to, even though he has some health issues and works every day, but still manages to attend these board meetings. One thing that you can tell by Mr. Silvers is if he tells you he's going to do some things, he's going to do his own work. You know, we actually meet every month. He's been one member that's been consistent. He cares about the community, not just about making money in the community. He actually cares about the community and want to see a community grow. His impact is not just local, it is experienced globally with a large portion of Civil's equipment, at times half their sales, being to international partners. And starting in the late 1990s, Civil's Inc. became a major player in Russia with production equipment built in Odessa, Texas, being broken down, trucked to Houston, then shipped to St. Petersburg before traveling along the Trans-Siberian Express Railroad to its final destination. Despite the challenges of dealing with the Russian government, the company's international line of credit and commitment to quality allowed for sustained success. The Russian company that we started doing business with, we gave them some ideas for uh, what they're doing in their production and they bought into the plan and, and we had a lot, of, a lot of years of pretty good business over there with them. In addition to his manufacturing prowess, Dick expanded the family's footprint with Control Equipment Inc., an exclusive dealer of oil-filled valves and controls. The company's commitment to quality, evident in its domestic manufacturing, earned Dick the 2011 National Philanthropy Day Outstanding Philanthropist Award. Family remained at the heart of Dick's endeavors. His wife, Lura Jo, and their children, Tracy and Stephanie, became integral parts of the Sybil's legacy marking the fourth generation in the family business. As the industry witnessed transformative technological shifts, Civils Inc. adapted, redesigning equipment to meet the demands of new drilling methods. The company's resilience and commitment to quality have been pivotal in maintaining its status as a global leader. In perhaps the most recent acknowledgement of Dick Civils' accomplishments, in 2023, the Permian Basin International Oil Show honored Dick Civils for his lifetime of achievements in the oil and gas industry and contributions to the community. You know, I, I really do uh, admire so much about Dick Civils. I think about, you know, the, the values that I personally have come to love about West Texas. And he certainly epitomizes, you know, West Texas values. I mean, this, you know, determination, this wildcatter spirit, this ability to uh, make something out of sometimes almost nothing, uh, that has, uh, uh, you know, characterized his entire career. But I think his uh, ability to plug into what is needed to make our community even better, and our community is really great, to make our community even better, you know, that's what he's, he shows up for. And I just love that about him. He actually paid for several months for those Hispanic population that worked for him to come in and take some ES classes. And this was amazing that the man really cared about his employees out there like that. In life, you, you can really tell when you have a great friend, a person that's a true friend, you know, say, let's go somewhere. Dick's already, okay, come on, let's go. And he's always willing to go. And he never gives any resistance or says anything. Thing negative, heck, I'm ready to go, let's go. He's a true friend. You know, he's just like a, that bunny rabbit boy. He just keep going and going, and, and I just, I believe in him. I mean, I just wish that uh, this entire community would have a lot more Dick Civils. It would be, it would be a special place, and we just, just got a special place in my heart. Let me say this, we had more people like Dick Civils in this community willing to go out and work in the community and spend his time volunteering we'd be much better community than we are today. And he, he, he does none of this uh, as a resume builder. He does it for his own experience. And his counsel is very wise. I tell this, Dick is a man of integrity. And my definition of integrity is always doing the right thing even when no one is looking. Reflecting on his journey, Dick expressed a desire for continued growth emphasizing the importance of adapting to industry changes. 
Still a daily fixture at the Civils Inc. offices and in the community, Dick Civils remains a symbol of resilience, foresight, and commitment, a man of action and of giving. His life's work is not just a narrative of business success, but a testament to the enduring legacy of a family deeply rooted in the energy landscape and committed to the people and the communities which truly are the most valuable resource found in the Permian Basin. Dick Civils has built a legacy that continues to evolve, leaving an indelible mark on West Texas and beyond. A legacy that is unquestionably that of a top man. I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to my friend Dick Civils for this amazing and well-deserved award. Mr. Civils, on behalf of Willie Tegel and the entire Permian Basin Workforce Board, thanks for a job well done and you deserve this award. Congratulations, I think it's a very well-deserved award. Best of luck. Dick, I'm sorry they waited so long to give you this honor, but congratulations on a great, great job. I hope you enjoy the evening. Congratulations, Dick. We are all better in our community for having known you and worked alongside of you. So thank you so much for all that you do for our community. Congratulations, Dick Sills.